Hey friends, how's it going? I hope you guys aren't too hot wherever you're at. Um, it's very humid here in the Atlanta area. Um, but yeah, I came out to, um, came back outside to show you guys the watermelon plant. Um, they're, they're doing pretty good out here. So last time I was out here, we can tell that there's, um, well, I can tell that there's been some more growth up here. And this one's looking pretty good. It's got a lot of length on it. It's actually trailing up this bamboo stick right here. Um, the flowers were open. There was a flower. I think it was these two. They were open. Um, not today, but yesterday. So those flowers were open. I don't see any fruit on it yet. Um, this one might, might develop into something. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't actually see any fruit yet. Um, but we will come back and check on that. Um, later, but um, yeah, they're <clears throat> the few that I have out here are doing pretty well. Um, let's see down here and see if there's any more um, flowers or anything. Let's see. Mm, that might become something, but it's not anything right now. Um, but like I said, I don't see any fruit. Um, this was a flower, and, but it's dried up, so, uh, yeah, there was no food on that one, um, I don't know if there was any, okay, there was, I remember saying, okay, this must have been the flower yesterday that was open, um, don't know if it got pollinated or not but like I said we will see um, if it develops into anything else so let me see how many plants do I have out here so this is one this is two these are actually pretty close to each other I don't know if I want them to be that close this is three these two are very close too um and that's four so i have four out here do i have any flowers on this one don't see any um but i love the color on this this is nice and deep green on this it's looking good looking really nice and healthy um so the, okay so far that's four and I don't, honestly, I don't think this is going to do anything, but we're going to keep it out here anyway. So this is number five. Um, but I, I don't really think this is going to do anything. Um, but we'll, like I said, I'm going to keep it anyway. Um, it might surprise me and take off and do something. So I have five plants out here. Last year I had... Oh, how many did I have? Did I have nine? I think I had nine. Uh, I want to say I had nine. I had nine or ten, I believe, last year. And I didn't put anything. I didn't put any. Uh, this is the one uh, bin that had the blueberries in it. And then I have another bin off over here, but I didn't put any, I didn't put any watermelon in that, in, um, in those, in that bin over there, um, this year. But yeah, um, everything's looking pretty decent. Um, 
I don't know if we talked about the wood chips um, or if I did record with the wood chips last time, but I know recently when I was talking about the basil harvest, some of the stuff that I had harvest, I was talking about the wood chips that I've been busy um, spreading around and gathering. So these are some of the wood chips. Um, I got them here to kind of, well, not kind of, to um, retain any water, you know, when I water the garden and stuff. So these wood chips will hold in the water. So, yeah, I got them in this bin, and I have them in the other bin over that I just showed you. And then I have one other bin in front of my house that has another uh, blueberry plant. There's the blueberry plant. Um, there's a few blueberries there. Um, we actually, this is the first year for blueberries on this particular plant because last year was, I think the plant was only a year old. And this year it is, um, so it's the second year. And we actually got a few blueberries on this on uh, on this particular plant, which was the Tiff Blue blueberry uh, plant. The other plant um, that's next to it over there, um, you see all my, all the wood chips in the background in the bags that I've bagged up a lot of wood chips in the background over there. But that blueberry plant right there, um, it's a um, it's in its second year also. Uh, well, this it's the second year that we've had it. Um, it did not produce any fruit on that one. Now the other blueberry plant that's in front of my house, we have um, we got a lot. We got a nice amount of blueberries off of it. We actually got blueberries off of it um, last year. Also, um, I forgot how many years, how old it was, because um, we bought that particular plant at another location, um, yeah, um, in South Georgia. These two plants over here are, um, we got online, um, but we bought the other plant in South Georgia and it was already, it might've been at least three years old, I think. Um, yeah, I think it was almost, it had to be about three years old. And the lady said that, um, we should get, uh, some fruit on it last year. And we did, we got some fruit, we got some berries. And this year we got more berries, way more b berries than last year. We actually ate them, um, picked them as soon as they got ripe. Um, last year, we kind of let them sit a little bit longer, but um, they didn't really last as long um, this year <laughs> as they did last year. Um, but the blueberry has some growth new growth over here if you can see see the new branches right the new branch so that's exciting to see the new growth and um the development of our blueberry plant i didn't expect to talk about the blueberry plant but i decided to just talk about it a little bit um like i said we got a few blueberries off of this one we ate a, a few of them and there's, um, there's a, a few left, um, maybe about six or seven left on the tree, but um, just exciting, you know, that we got some berries on this one. And hopefully we'll get some berries on the other one that's right next door to it um, for next year. But um, we'll see when that time comes, you know. So, um, well, guys, I'm going to sign out now. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and to keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. 
bientôt. See you soon, guys.